this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Seashell Mansion on Let's Play Link's Awakening! Sorry I didn't manage to get to this in the last episode, I meant to, but, well, oh, we get a little extra line of dialogue in this version of the game. Usually that doesn't come up, but yeah, once you get 20 secret seashells, this happens. Could it be? The Master Sword? Well, what is the sword? What's the name of the sword? Come on! Name it! Uh, I'm just gonna call it the Noble Sword, because that's what they call it in the other uh, Game Boy games. The Level 2 Sword is the Noble Sword, so Level 3 Sword is the Master Sword. But we don't have a Level 3 Sword in this game, so... Holy cow! Look at that! Look at that damage, viewers! <laughs> Yeah, now once you get it up to level 2, you can shoot beams out of your sword when you're at full health. <laughs> and, of course, you deal double damage. So, And I'm not sure, but I think it stacks with a piece of power. So, yeah. Oh, man, it's amazing. I love the noble sword. But anyway, okay, so we got that out of the way. That's what you get for getting all the 20 secret seashells. So, yeah, they were right. Something good was bound to happen. Now, all the remaining secret seashells are, um, they turn into a chest with 20 rupees. But now, let's go under this bridge here, since we have the flippers. And we got a hook, also, by the way. Oh, yeah. They call me Captain Hook? No. No. Just kidding, viewers. Uh, sure, why not? Sounds like a great idea. By the way, speaking of secret seashells, uh, if you go back to the ghost's house on the bay there, you can find a seashell in one of the jars there. You couldn't get it before until after this quest. But for giving this guy the hook, we find the necklace. Hmm, I wonder who was looking for that necklace. Well, let's uh, head on back and uh, return it to its proper owner there. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to have enough uh, money for the... Uh, the bow and arrows last time. That's what distracted me from getting the uh, noble sword or level two sword, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it a noble sword. Hey, okay, how's it going? Uh, okay, okay. Don't be so hyper. Oh, yeah, baby. Nah, nah, just kidding. Just take the scale. Don't take anything else from her, like her virginity. All right, there we go. Uh, can I move, game? Oh, she's just gonna dance for a while, I guess. Now, I believe if you leave and... Huh. Okay, let me try that again. Ah, there we go. Yeah, if you're on land, then she'll come back. Pervert. Magnifying lens? What does that have to do with anything? We'll learn more about that soon enough, viewers, but for now, remember the advice Oriro gave us? That's right, we just gotta dive right here and go through this secret passage. So, yeah, that's how you're supposed to get into the next dungeon. I think I've done everything I can now. Haha, -ha, there we go. Now this dungeon, the Catfish's Maw, this one's a little quirky. Well, all the dungeons are a little quirky in their own way. No! But, yeah. Uh, now, those guys have masks on them, but if you just hit them from behind, you can kill them. If only we had an item that could deal with them more easily. Soon enough, dude. Soon enough. Uh, let's see. Let's kill the bats. Ow. Yeah, get rid of my guardian acorn. Well, it's not like the music in this particular dungeon was that great anyway. Hey, hey. Get behind them. There we go. Yeah, you gotta be right behind them. You can't, like, um, get them from their side or anything like that. Alright, we got a compass. Actually, I don't even need to kill those guys, so screw them. By the way, just so you know, a few people were asking me, H.C. Bailey, uh, when are you going to, like, start your next main Let's Play series? Because I just finished my last one. Well, soon enough, viewers. Um, what I want to do is I want to finish Link's Awakening and whatever bonus episodes I'm going to do for that LP. Um, I want to finish everything up 
so that way I'm ready to go for my next main Let's Play series. Just so you know. Um, so I just want my schedule to be clear for a while, and then once I've gotten sufficiently far into the game, then I'll start my next side Let's Play series. Now, just like the uh, anal retentive guy I am, you push, you gotta make everything symmetrical, you get a key. All right. But, hmm. Got a little figure of a skull in the middle there, but there's nothing in that room. Huh. I guess it must not be important. No one's in there. What can I do? Okay, well, let's head on back now. Yeah, we had to go over there in order to uh, get that key there. So, uh, oh, great. Now I actually do have to kill these guys. Huh. Well, there we are. Whoa. I love having those sword beams. It's amazing. Too bad we couldn't start the game with that, like in the first game. Do I have a map yet? No, I do not. Okay, well, eventually. Ha! Now, fortunately, these guys, they do not seem to realize my presence unless I... Oh! You can hit them from the side if you use your sword beams, I guess. Well, there you go. Whoa. Ha! There we go. Oh, okay, you can deal with them that way. Watch out with these guys, just get real... Okay, don't do it that way, viewers. That was not a good example. Huh. I can't break the pots. I must have been thinking of another game. For some reason, I thought when you got your level 2 sword, you could break pots with them, but... No, I was wrong. Ha! Now you're trapped. Let's see... Oh, great. Now I gotta get directly behind them in order to... No! Uh, there we go. Ha! And we get a piece of power! All right! There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Piece of power, noble sword, can one-shot anything. Okay, we that thing I had to get out of my way? Oh! Stone beak. Okay. I thought I was gonna get a key or something like that, but... Okay, there we are. And one other thing you gotta keep an eye on for this dungeon. You want to have... 300 rupees by the time you're done with it. Just keep that in mind. Let's see. We need another item to get through here. Well, you don't need it. I've heard that you can get through without the item that I'm thinking of. But, you know what? Let's save it for later. Whoa. Ha ha. Okay, yeah, let's just head on up here then. Oh, there's a owl statue there. That must have been new to this version of the game. I've played the original version probably more than the color version, but I've played this one several times, too. Huh. Well, I seem to be doing fine enough on my own. I don't... Wait, hold on. No, I don't want to go up there yet. I want to show you guys something. Uh, let me see. There we go. I want it to be full on hearts. There we go. What's going on? Looks like that other room! Holy crap! Giant skeleton. What the... My sword's not doing anything on him. What you're supposed to do is um, hit him with your sword, then drop a bomb and hit him. And then hit him with your sword, drop a bomb, and hit him again, and do that over and over and over again. But if you have the noble sword and you can shoot beams at him, you don't need to use the bombs at all. You can just shoot your beams at him and it'll knock him out right away. So, <laughs> Let's see what's in this chest. What the? There's nothing in there. Master Stalfos. Oh, crap. Gotta find him again. Let's see if I can do anything over here. I don't think I can. Did, what just happened? Did I just kill that guy just by being under him? Like, jumping on him, like in the Mario games? What were those guys called, called in the uh, Mario game? The bleeps? Or the sweeps? Or the creeps? Uh, I don't know. But anyway, let's head on over here. I think there is something useful that I can do over here. Not incredibly useful, but... Ah, yes. Whoa. Let's uh, take out that guy before I accidentally get hit by him. There we go. Dive where the torchlight beams cross. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll keep that in mind. Can't deal with those guys there yet. We need another item to do that. And we can't get him through there. And uh, I wonder if I could dash across this pit, like, from here. Dash up to the upper left corner there. But usually you're supposed to get another 
item there. Hmm, well, we can't get back up, but we might as well see where the other side of this thing goes. Oh, yeah, we're kind of right back where we started, huh? Oh, come on. I was hoping that guy would jump at me to suicide himself, but apparently not. But can I defeat Master Stalfos once and for all and get the item he stole from me? Find out next time on Let's Play Link's Awakening. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. Die. Not you, viewers, but skeleton.